good YouTube, LTTV Sports Nation. And before I get started, for those that are new, I do content on basketball, boxing, and MMA. If you still enjoy the kind of content, be sure to hit the like and the subscribe button as well. As we all know, the Clippers traded for Ray John Rondo at the trade deadline. And the president of the Clippers, Lawrence Frank, she gives his explanation. We didn't want to trade Lou, and Lou didn't want to be traded. The trade wasn't about what Lou wasn't. Our biggest team need, we felt, was an orchestrator. We needed someone who can, who can help elevate everyone's game, and Lou is one of our better playmakers. But Rondo brings a skill set we didn't have. The unfortunate reality is in order to receive, you have to give. Lou's a valuable, valuable player. Obviously, the salaries match, and that's the cap, but it sucks. He's a special guy. He's a special, special guy. We love Lou. We love his mom, Janice, and you're heartbroken doing it. There's no way to say it other than it really sucks. At the end of the day, the Clippers, they needed to make this move. I mean, yeah, it's kind of messed up that they had to get rid of Lou because Lou obviously was one of their better playmaking guards, especially coming off the bench and gave that second unit much needed boost and you know, no one can really deny that they had one of the best bench in the NBA at one point in time but how things played out in the bubble and them getting knocked off in the second round like they did in seven games when they were up 3-1 I think uh, like something had clicked with the front office that they needed to make a change and Rondo was the solution and I'm not mad at that but with them having Rondo now there's really no excuses at this point they didn't have a playmaking point guard that can orchestrate the offense and put players in their spots and positions they have that now it's really on the Clippers to how they want to play it they can play this smart or they can just play this all wrong and fall face flat in the second round or Western Conference Finals. But with a guy like Rondo, I'm strongly believing that they will make it to the NBA Finals. That's just my belief. Because they have enough to really, in my opinion, they have enough to beat the Lakers. But they come across the Denver Nuggets in the postseason again that's where things can get a little bit interesting because the Nuggets did knock them off in the bubble so people are going to have those questions people are going to question Paul George's toughness people are going to question Ty Brown Lou as a coach so a lot of things are going to be questioned and in the postseason many will have those answers obviously the Clippers they needed a guy like Rondo on that roster for as orchestrator as well as veteran leadership because he does have those intangibles that the Clippers locker room desperately need because there was a lot of bickering about Kawhi and you know him not practicing all like that and obviously they got rid of the locker room cancer or cancers if you feel that it's more than one person but they got rid of all the negativity and the noise and now they have been revigorated and here we are now and Rondo is like in my opinion Rondo is like the final piece of that puzzle so this should be interesting and it should make for a deep playoff run because with a guy like Rondo on your roster who can put people in the right positions is going to make sure that you're in your correct spots on the floor and he's almost like a second coach out there to be honest with you so there's really no reason why the Clippers should come up short there's no reason for it when you got a guy like him, a two-time champion, veteran leadership, very well experienced, has been there and done that, 
around the NBA, well respected, and he has a high basketball IQ. All of this, it benefits the Clippers. And really, they got him really for cheap. You count all of that into the equation, everything is really in the Clippers' favor. It's really championship or bust, once again. And people may not account last season, but it does count. They did lose and they had championship expectations and they came up short. This season, you cannot afford to come up short because if you do, Kawhi Leonard can't walk. So it's just gonna be an interesting time in Clipperland this season and beyond. If things don't fall into place like it's supposed to. I do believe that even with the Brooklyn Nets and how loaded they are, the Clippers can still win the NBA Finals in my personal opinion. But it's going to be a tough task if you're going against Brooklyn. Like I said before, they have everything at their disposal. And they have no reasons to fall short and we shall see how all of this plays out and that's going to conclude this video if you liked it enjoyed it hit that like that sub button hit that bell and click all so you never miss any of my uploads and you see all of my notifications LTTV Sports Nation I'm out of here peace